As you all know, one of the best ways to practice a healthy lifestyle is to look for healthier substitutes to your favorite things. So today I want to be sharing with you how I do my coconut milk. This is something I've been wanting to share for a very long time. So here with me is um, one medium sized coconut and uh, I'm going to show you how I get my coconut milk. So stay tuned. Now to break your coconut, you want to look for any um, surface or a stone with a sharp edge. Then you heat so you can have a little crack and with that you're going to be able to extract the water. Then you break open your coconut. Then I further break the coconut into smaller pieces. And then I'm going to remove the flesh from the shell. I'm going to use a small knife just for easy handling. Ensure you break the coconut into pieces which you'll be able to handle because the next step is going to be to grate the coconut. So you don't want too little pieces which will be difficult to handle while grating. So we are actually going to be grating this to get our coconut milk but you can either blend it or use a juice extractor. Either way you have the same results. Some people actually want to peel off the hard brown skin because they want to have a whitish flour mm. but I don't really bother about that. Now we are going to wash the coconuts because we are going to extract the milk directly and consume. Coconut is also a very good snack. For the little pieces which I cannot handle with the grater, I keep them aside and I'm going to use them as a snack. I'll be using this traditional grater to extract my coconut milk. You can actually have this at our local market for 1,000 francs, 1,500 francs, 2,000 francs. It all depends on the market, but it's not expensive. So now I start grating my coconut. So for the little pieces, I will just put them aside and I'll use them as a snack. And to do my snack, I can either eat them directly or I cut them into smaller pieces and put them in the oven and it just has a nice flavor and a very nice taste. At this juncture, you have to be very careful so that you don't grate your hands. When it's getting smaller and you think you can't handle it anymore, you can put it by the side and use it for your snack. It looks dry right, but trust me, there's coconut milk inside here. I'll be using this nut bag to extract the coconut milk. You can use a handkerchief or any cotton cloth of your choice, but just something which will help you to extract the milk better. But guys, this nut bag does the trick. It works like magic. So after putting in the grated coconut into the nut bag, I'm squeezing out the milk. You can actually see how the milk is coming out. One of the reasons why I love to do this after squeezing, you can see we have the coconut chaffs. This is actually going to be our coconut flour. We are going to sun dry it and that will just be it. As I said earlier, you can either blend this or use a juice extractor but I don't want to spoil my blender so I prefer using the grater and I actually love the results. Now you will see my hands have some particles of the coconut um, flour. You don't want any of this to get into your milk so you rinse your hands under the tap and then you squeeze again. I just enjoy the fresh milk that comes out reason I prefer to grate and squeeze out because if you use a blender you might have to put you have to put water 
and then you need to put in the refrigerator and then you come and extract the next day and all of that i prefer to have my fresh coconut milk by grating and squeezing so with this i'm sure i have 100 percent coconut milk on another bright side we have our coconut flour reasons why i really love making my coconut milk by myself because i get coconut milk and i get coconut flour we're going to sun dry this and uh, if you had peeled the bag before your coconut flour is going to be whiter see the milk it's so lovely it's so yummy it's sweet it's healthy it's natural guys i think you should try this now this is done it's time to store it you can decide to use um, an ice block maker put little um, quantity and then when you need you just remove one block two blocks depends on you or you can use a little transparent bowl like this one with a lid and you put inside most often I keep my coconut milk um, in the freezer because I use it over a long time so I hope you try this and let me get your feedback thank you for watching thank you for stopping by if you're new to this channel please do well to hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell and please like and share this with others.